we often round off numbers in our day-to-day -day life. Can you think of examples? Here is one. If you have invited eight friends on your birthday party, you would notice that your mother would be prepared for ten guests. Rounding off the number is done when we do not need the exact number, but a number that is close to it and is easy to use, like the numbers shown on the number line. When a number is rounded off, it is called an estimate. Let us see how the number 8 is rounded off. 8 comes between 0 and 10. The midpoint between 0 and 10 is 5. A number which is at the midpoint or greater than the midpoint is rounded off to the higher number, that is 10. So, 8 is estimated as 10. Now, figure out how the number 12 is rounded off. The number 12 comes between 10 and 20. The midpoint between 10 and 20 is 15. A number which is less than the midpoint is rounded off to the lower number, that is 10 here. So, 12 is estimated to 10. Now, figure out how the number 203 is rounded off to the nearest 10. 203 comes between 200 and 210. The midpoint between 200 and 210 is 205. A number which is less than the midpoint is rounded off to the lower number, that is 200 here. So, 203 is estimated to 200. Round off 486 to the nearest 10. So, 486 is estimated to 490. Round off the number 542. Here, 542 is estimated to 540. Round off the number 595. Once again, 595 is estimated to 600. If your school is planning to have a fun fair, the first thing that is to be done is to have an estimate of how many people will be coming. Why? Otherwise, there will be too much or too little ice creams or cotton candy or popcorn. The exact number is not required, but somewhere close to the number. That is why we need to round off numbers. When the number is large, we round off the nearest hundred. So, if there are 1,263 students in a school, how do we round off 1,263 to the nearest hundred? 1,263 comes between 1,200 and 1,300. The midpoint between 1,200 and 1,300 is 1,250. A number which is at the midpoint or greater than the midpoint is rounded off to the higher number. We can see that 1,263 is greater than 1,250. So, the number is rounded off to 1,300. Thus, 1,263 rounded off to the nearest hundred is equal to 1,300. Can you take up this challenge? Round off 78, 331 and 780 to their nearest hundreds. The first step is to find the midpoints. 78 is greater than the midpoint 50 and rounded off to 100. Is 331 rounded off to 300 or 400? 300. Yes, it is less than 350. Is 780 rounded off to 700 or 800? 800, of course. It is greater than 750. When do we round off to the nearest 10? Take a look at these examples. The number of fruits in a tree. The number of birds in a cage. The number of students in a class. When do you round off to the nearest hundred? 
the number of fruits in a market the number of birds in a forest the number of students in a city